In the collection, a man who escapes from the vicious grips of the serial killer known as the Collector is blackmailed to escape an innocent girl from the killer's booby trapped warehouse. I was looking forward to seeing the collection because I haven't seen a um, gory R-rated horror movie since the Thane prequel last year. And I have not seen the first movie, The Collector, um, so, and, um, so I was a bit nervous about not liking this movie as much as I hadn't seen the first movie, and I was a bit confused about, um, understanding it. And I have to say, overall, I very much enjoy The Collection. It was very gory and extremely messed up. It's probably one of the most messed up movies I've ever seen, and, um, it was very gory, and it made me have that much hard time confusing um, the story without seeing like the person with a collector. Um, so I have to think. Overall, I um, really enjoy the collection. Now, let's get a little bit more in depth with the plot. So basically, um, apparently in the first movie, he was tortured. The main character Archie was tortured by this guy named the Collector, and. Um, he tried to escape but didn't, and um, and uh, the collector decides to um, attack a private dance club and he kills almost everybody there um, except for one like, woman, young woman, something, my teenager um, named Elena, but um, he manages to escape. Um, but um, these mercenaries. Um, they threaten to blackmail him, basically saying, um, if you don't help us get inside the hotel and we just threw a tell find Elena, then we're going to arrest you. But if you do, um, if you do help us, uh, we, we won't arrest you. And, um, so, you know, he decides to go in this messed up hotel. And I don't want to spoil what's inside, but it's gonna mess you up for life. I mean... This movie is really messed up, but it's very enjoyable that way because, I mean, I enjoy the messed upness for it. I mean, when I was seeing it, I knew I was in for a messed up movie, and that's what I got, you know, a messed up movie. And I, and I really want to see the first movie now, The Collector, because I guess I can consider like a prequel. I want to know what happened, um, like with Arkin before the events of this movie. And now, uh, let's talk about the acting. I thought everybody in the movie did great. I mean, the collector, he didn't really need to be much because he's kind of just like a, like a dude, like doing crazy stuff. But I have to say, in this movie, he kind of acted like a monster. You know, I mean, he kind of made like growls and stuff. I mean, he was, the collector was scary, you know. And Arkin did a really good job and Elena did a good job. I mean, everybody else, the rest of the mercenaries were fine. They were just fine. And, um,. That was, and I really like the kind of style of the movie, the kind of dark and kind of gritty um, kind of feel to it, like the tone. I mean, the movie, even though it's messed up, it's still supposed to be fun. Like, basically what's supposed to be is like you're like having like fun and being disturbed at the same time because, I mean, basically, I mean, I had like a lot of fun watching it. It was, you know, very enjoyable but I was like like what am I watching you know when I was doing it like um I during one part of the movie I was like what am I watching you know because the movie is extremely messed up and I I'm not sure if the first movie the collector or this new movie the collection is supposed to be more messed up but I mean I'm still they want to see the collector now, and I'm sure that movie's just as messed up as you know its sequel. Um, I mean, yeah. Um, and I thought I think that overall the collection was a very good movie. I mean, apparently it was written by the people who did the um, second um, Saw trilogy. I mean, basically what happened with Saw is that. Um, they made Saw 1, 2, and 3, and then, um, and then the people who made the first three stopped making them, and then they pretty much handed the series to these new people who made Saw 4, 5, 6, and 7, Saw 3D. And, you know, the Saw series is over now, and, um, 
And this movie is pretty much made by the same people who did Saw 4, 5, 6, and 7. And they've only seen Saw 1 and 2, so while I was interested in seeing like a movie that's kind of in the vein of Saw, you know, kind of like having the same kind of style, if you know what I mean. And I have to say, it did have the same kind of feeling as Saw 1 and 2, and I heard that um, if you've seen Saw 4, 5, and 6, and 7, it has more of the kind of feeling than um and I haven't seen Saw 4, 5, 6, and 7, or 3, but I'm sh but I very much like to see them, and I'm sure if I enjoyed this movie, the collection, I'll enjoy Saw 4, 5, 6, and 7. So, um, yeah, and I think that, um, it seems like they're trying to make this character, the collector, a horror icon, because, um, you know, there's what happens at the end, and, um, in the trailer for the movie, it says, experience the new face of American horror so I mean there are a lot of horror icons there's um there's a Norman Bates I mean some people consider him a horror icon some people don't I'm not really sure I haven't seen any of the psycho movies so I can't really say and um and there's Michael Myers and Jason Voorhees and Chucky and um and Freddy Krueger and um and I feel like Katie from Paranormal Activity is starting to be a horror icon. And there's Jigsaw. There's a lot of, like, um, horror characters out there. I mean, there's so many. But I feel like, um, Jason Voorhees, um, Freddy Krueger, and Michael Myers are, I guess you'd say, the big three. And they're the most known kind of horror icons. And I think that they're trying to make this guy, like, Collector, be a new kind of horror character, you know? I mean... I would like to see him be oh, a new kind of horror character. I mean, I would definitely kind of dress out as him, you know, during Halloween. I think maybe, I'll, maybe I will, <laughs> you know. Um, I mean, I don't know, but um, I have to say, overall, I really enjoyed the collection. I thought it was a very fun and very kind of just messed up movie. I mean, the movie is really fast-paced and has a really good soundtrack. And almost every scene has lots of blood in it. I mean, this movie is bloody, you know? I mean, there is a lot of, you know, gore and stuff. And about the tubes, I mean, you kind of see one in the poster. But, um, the collector is kind of blocking them. But the tube part was really kind of messed up. I mean, there's a lot of, you know, just messed up. Like, oh my god, <laughs> you know? scenes in this movie. I mean, the collector is just one messed up guy. You know, so, like I said, overall, I enjoyed the collection. I really want to see the first movie of the collector now. I just want to see the um, rest of the, um, Saw movies, and I'm kind of, this movie, the collection, kind of makes me a bit more interested in torture movies, you know? I mean, I mean, I know that there's Hostel, but I thought those are really messed up, and there's, like, the Keen, like, the original kind of Godfather, of torture movies, Hellraiser, I haven't seen any of those, but, um, that's just, I have to say, I think that today is the last movie the collection is shown in theaters, unfortunately, but I'd say when it comes to Blu-ray, definitely pick it up, because it's a blast.